All right, Thompson Tigers, this is part two of the class recap for September 23rd and 24th. Um, I've just given you background information on these four artworks, and now you are going to create a response to the artwork that you chose last class to focus on. So we're going to go back to our Zoom Padlet, our Zoom activity, our Art Padlet Zoom activity. Again, to find it, go to Classwork, Artist Respond, and scroll down to Art Padlet Zoom activity. We're going to now visit the second link, the Angel Emoji Maker. Now, I want you to think about what your chosen artwork makes you think and feel and create an emoji to express that response. So um, if you wanna start out with a blank slate or delete anything from your emoji, you can simply click on it. And then over here on the right-hand side of your screen, you see a little X in a red box and that, gets, that deletes parts of your emoji. So if we start out with, I'm gonna start out with pizza. Um, so pizzas naturally have polka dots, so I'm, I'm making one for Yoyoi Kusama here. Uh, so go through and add details to your emoji based on your response or kind of based on things that you've learned about your artist. So um, I'm going to choose these wide eyes here. Oh, that looks kind of angry. I might get rid of that. I don't want angry eyes. All right. Oh, these are much better. So um, these eyes for me express how overwhelming the polka dots can seem. Sometimes they kind of make my eyes do crazy things. Um, and I am going to choose a confused mouth if I can find one. Hmm. Oh, this one's good. Because I kind of want to smile at the polka dots because they seem so happy and playful, but I also now know that they come from kind of a dark place in Yoyoi's Kusama's past. So um, she's very joyful and it's also a little dark. So maybe I put two kinds of mouths here. Maybe I put a happy mouth and a sad mouth on top of each other. So um, there we go. So the polka dots can appear as silly, but there's also something a little bit darker behind them. So you can see I'm creating my emoji based on my response and my thoughts about the artwork. When I'm done, I hit this little blue save button up here in the right hand corner. Save now. Download. Bum, 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 to my download folder. And I pop back to my Padlet. Now underneath the artwork of your choice. If you scroll down, you'll see people have already begun posting emojis for their response to the artwork. So you're just going to add yours um, by clicking on this plus in a circle. Type your name. Whoop. I can't type today. This is Longoria. Type your hour, second hour, and then hit the up for upload button. Up for upload pick file, and it should be the first thing in your downloads folder. Here we are. If you can't find it for any reason, just email me. I'll walk you through it. And bam, you have posted your emoji. You have posted your emoji. Now the last thing you do, head back to Google Classroom. Scroll up from the Art Padlet Zoom activity, and there is a question. How does your emoji, how does your emoji show your response to your artwork? Please explain what you did in your emoji. So I used a pizza face and eyes, use the word because, and then explain why. Because of the polka dots, uh, I made two mouths because I was confused on how to respond. All right, and that's it.